Hello, Occupy Honolulu. Time for a angry, indignant, pissed off occupier to give you some education on basic human rights. I am extremely disenfranchised with Occupy Honolulu because my basic human rights have been violated over and over again there. Not all of them, of course, but some of my human rights. Let us review our basic human rights. You have a right to live because you are alive. You have a right to air, water, food, clothing, shelter, heat, sanitation. You have a right to health care. Okay. You have a right to these things. You own your body. No one has a right to touch your body without your permission. It doesn't matter if there's a stranger tapping you behind on the shoulder or whatever. No one has a right to touch your body without your permission. It doesn't matter how friendly the intention is. If they don't have your permission, they don't have the right. <clears throat> no one has a right to come in your personal space without your permission. Your personal space is the distance at which someone can come and physically attack you or grab you or make you feel uncomfortable. No one has a right to come into your personal space without your permission. You have a right to your personal space. You also have a right to your personal property. I'm not talking about owning land. I'm talking about objects. Okay, you have a right to your personal property and no one has a right to touch your personal property without your permission. My tenant Occupy Honolulu was fucked with four times. It was moved three times by other people. So also someone took a tent off, a tarp off of it. Okay, this has caused, this has caused water damage to my things from the rain coming into my tent after someone took a tarp off. This has caused damage to my tent being dragged on the ground it has holes in the bottom. This has caused <clears throat> damage to the stuff inside my tent because the tent is not a bag. Okay? How dare you move my stuff and touch it without my permission? How dare you do that to anyone? That's not respecting human rights. This is why I don't really think, I mean, what is it, Bill 54, Bill 54, we're so concerned that the government is going to take our stuff. What about other people? What about other thieves, other humans wandering in and out? We're so, you know, you don't want the government to touch our, our personal property, but yet we're doing it to each other. And now my personal property is damaged. You guys are such a great bunch of humanists. I asked seven people to help me look for my glasses, and people just looked at looked up at me blank and blinked dumbly because they were busy having a meeting, so they couldn't help me look for my glasses at dusk. I'm, I mean, and the sun's about to set. Todd Hammond was the only one that was willing to help. He was the eighth person I asked. How's that? The disabled person looking for their aid. If I was a blind man looking for my cane, people may have instantly jumped up. But does it have to get to that severity? I lost, I lose a $500 pair of glasses and I don't have any other way to see and no one wants to help me look except for Todd. You know, I, this is why I said from the beginning that I'm not part of the Occupy movement because people, you know, I mean, if I'm getting turned off and I stay there so much, okay, then other people must, must be getting turned off even more than me by you people.